man was hardly considered man when the stars aligned and the great stones fell from the sky. As they fell, they fell apart as if repelling each other during their rapid descent. It would seem to the believer now that these stones had felt hatred towards each other, and that since the beginning of time this hatred had been welling up inside them. Many centuries passed and the legends were forgotten, until one day a wandering nomad tribe traveling north came to dwell close by. The large stones were now long buried, but their magic pulsated through the veins of the earth, their lure unfortunately too powerful for mortal man. As it happened, the great black stone, or night stone as it's now known, fell in the north. Its malevolence blinded those who lived here, and soon large rock circles were erected to increase its evil power. Some of the followers, without notice, became repulsive, hideous creatures, and their numbers swarmed with evil seed. The Nightstone allowed them to use its materials to construct many powerful items, including weapons, strong armor, and magic spells. Other slaves under the evil influence were called to lead great armies in order to spread its evil intent and to eliminate those who denied its power. Many, many years of darkness continued. As fate decided, the other stone, a stone of pure goodness, fell in the southeast. It too lay hidden for a while until a small band of travelers on the run from these wars came to live nearby. These were a skilled and happy people and soon the calming influence of the great white stone became them. This stone also encouraged these people to use its precious materials, but use it of their own free will to construct powerful weapons and armor to fight the dark armies with. It also taught them the ways of positive magic. Many bloody battles were fought, but from this chaos and turmoil our three heroes came. They became masters of their chosen art and fought only for the causes of good. History would later dictate that the evil was eventually beaten and the Nightstone army defeated, but the stone itself was not destroyed. Our heroes, for their deeds, were granted immortality by the Great White Stone and swore an oath to protect over it for the rest of time. Recently, however, there have been whispers and rumors that the alignment once again is near and that the evil would return. No one really showed any interest in this until one night Princess Naya left the grounds of her father's palace and did not return home. When the king's knights eventually found her deep in the forest, she was silent, and her eyes shone with an intense dark light that both scared them and welcomed them in an instant. It's now time to summon our three guardians and try to expand the spirit of the Great White Stone once more. Maybe this time they will succeed in destroying the evil Nightstone once and for all.
Mm-hmm. 